Hello, my name is MK Davis. I recently uh, sent an audio file uh, of an alleged Sasquatch event uh, to an audio expert to have it cleaned up. Uh, this was taken with a continuously running camera. Uh, the camera was uh, a little different. It was a security type camera and recorded sound in monotone, which made it kind of difficult to clean up. But uh, at any rate, uh, uh, this is what he wrote back, and this is why I'm mentioning this tonight in this upload. He says, uh, and after mentioning, you know, that he had a hard time, he said, I finally wrote a custom algorithm to remove the hiss treble and lessen the buzz and enhance the subjects. He says, I'm a perfectionist at times, so it was frustrating. I couldn't get this cleared up more completely. And while the buzz is still present, the audio is much clearer. And then he says this, he says, of tremendous interest is, and he wrote this in capital letters, infrasound in the audio at the 22 minute mark, two blasts in the zero to 200 hertz range. I could not hear it through my PC speakers, only through my noise canceling headphones. And it sounds like a, and I'm, I hope I'm getting this right, didgeridoo. Uh, and if you look that up, it's uh, it's an instrument played by Australian Aborigines, uh, you know, that creates a real bass tone. But really, it, it set my nervous system on edge. He said, very interesting, not sure that I can listen to it again today. My body says no. And uh, after... When I received this from him, of course, uh, I took it, and I've got a, a program that I can amplify it even more. And I, I ampl you know, 100 is normal. I amplified it to 500, then I put it in my special effects, and continue the amplification there um, until I had amplified it to 1800. So 1800 plus 500, and you you see what you get there. Well over 2,000 uh, percent amplification. So it became audible on the speaker. Uh, and so that's what I'm uploading tonight uh, f for you to listen to. Uh, it, it's um, I will caution you that you know it, it is irritating to listen to. Uh, it has an unusual quality that really gets your attention. And I don't know if this positively is from a Sasquatch, but I will say this: that it is. If it is from a Sasquatch, um, I wouldn't advise playing it. Uh, through any kind of blasting equipment or anything like that because uh, don't know what it's saying, uh, you know, and uh, you don't know how far it can go in, in those uh, long frequencies like that. So uh, I listened to it. You know, I thought maybe at first that I was hearing uh, uh, a vehicle on the road somewhere close by, but no, I, that's not what it is at all. Uh, I listened to others, the sounds of other uh, uh, and other tapes of vehicles, and then nothing was anything like this. Uh, that you can't hear the rumbling of an engine in this. It's uh, smooth, completely smooth. Uh, there are two major blasts of this, uh, and and as the as the uh, expert said, so uh, I, I'm gonna. Uh, I'll let you listen to it now, and uh, you, you, what, whatever you think, uh, it, it's uh, is this infrasound? Judge for yourself. Anyway, let's listen. So there you have it. I, I don't know for sure exactly what this is, but it was found on a videotape of a Sasquatch-related event. Uh, so, you know, you can make of it what you want to make of it. But uh, is this infrasound? Uh, you be the judge. I thank you for your time.